Hi guys, George Byrne from Copters and today we are looking at the brand new Flyability Elios 3. This is the third generation of Flyability Elios. The Elios 1 was a gyroscopic drone that came out in 2016. In 2019 we saw the Elios 2 which was still contact inspection but only had visual and now we have the Elios 3 which is releasing later this year to the UK market and has now got both the inspection side with the visual, the thermal and also a LiDAR system on the back. Starting with the physical appearance of the drone, as you can see it is still in its caged state. This allows for contact inspection and what people may be seeing is the actual camera and lighting system is further outside of the cage. This may mean that there is contact uh, on the camera and lighting but the improvements to the actual usability and the user interface means that the camera can now look 180 degrees up and down unimpeded by the cage. Uh, with that camera movement, the actual lighting sol solution also follows it. Um, and as you will see from the specs, the, the actual lighting system has been increased by 60%. So we've now got 16,000 lumens uh, of light being boasted by the Elios 3. Building on from the Elios 1 and 2, the Elios 3 is now built to the IP rating of 44. This allows you to inspect and investigate more hostile and dangerous environments while still boasting that great sensor quality of the 4K camera on the front. Once the Elios 3 is armed, this means the LiDAR scan on the back of the drone is continuously spinning. This allows for the drone pilot to have a live 3D model already about where the drone is in its environment. When flying, this allows you to have a full understanding of where you've been, where you're going, and how to get back home within the quickest point possible. Alongside the LiDAR port is a secondary AUX cable. This allows you to put modular devices on top of the drone, such as gas sensors, radiometric sensors, or even methane sensors for any hostile environments that you're going in. This will be a port that's opened up to the wider community in time. On to some of the great accessories that the Flyability Elios 3 is bringing to the market. These include the new smart batteries. These have increased battery time by up to 25%, going from 12 and a half minutes on any non-LiDAR flight and nine and a half minutes on any LiDAR flight. In personal experience, when actually flying with the LiDAR, you actually capture a lot more information and you cover a lot more ground than you would with the Elios 2 in about half the time. For previous fans of the Elios, the new battery system in it, actually installing it is a lot easier. As you can see here, it takes only two movements and a clip to allow you to install the battery into the Elios 3. One of the biggest improvements with the Elios 3 is actually the communication system between the RC and the drone. This is now a European designed and manufactured system, uh, moving away from the previous DJI owned light bridge. The tablet is also redesigned and a lot larger, allowing you to have perfect view of the point cloud and your flight operation when you're doing your inspection, meaning that you don't miss anything during your operation. And previous Elios fans will be really pleased to know that the range extender from the 1 and the 2 is also cross-compatible with the Elios 3. Software-wise, the Elios 3 now comes with Cockpit and Inspector 4.0. 4.0 allows you to download and process the LiDAR data as well as the video files. Um, in my experience, for every minute of capture, it takes around a minute and a half uh, to process that LiDAR and the video file. As you can see in the video that we've done of the process LiDAR data, the camera follows through the LiDAR model as it flies, so you can get a real time, real point of view of what the drone is seeing in relation to the actual 3D model. And for all the surveyors out there, we have the real opportunity to get survey grade accuracy when transferring the point cloud data from Inspector 4.0 into GSLAM Connect. Overall, we saw a huge improvement from the Elios 1 to the Elios 2. Now what we're seeing from the Elios 2 to the brand new Elios 3 is an even bigger cycle. What we're going to see in the future is hopefully a lot more applications in a lot more difficult environments where the LiDAR is now utilised, but also capturing that data for future plans and proofing. For all future inquiries, please get in touch with us at sales at Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.